We live in the oldest house in Richmond Hill. It was built in 1812. And the reason why we love this house is because we love the bones that it had in the kitchen specifically in terms of the Georgian heritage and farmhouse feel. But we really needed to take it to the next level by doing a full renovation that really reflected our style and a much more modern take on Georgian heritage. So the kitchen had a very beautiful vintage heritage feel to it, but it was a mishmash of styles, a mishmash of products. Things were falling apart. It just wasn't a functional layout. We also had a wall separating the front room from the kitchen. So what we did was we enlarged the space. We were able to gain that footprint, bring in much more natural light because it is north facing home and the back is south facing. So by taking down the wall, we were able to get all of our wish lists into one space. We had elements in the kitchen that we had to work around. So that's really where the design started. How do we build around some of these fixed elements that were roadblocks? So for example, we had a chimney in the kitchen and we still do a brick chimney. The cost would be way too expensive to demo it. So we kept it, but we dressed it up with drywall and created an opening to the stove. So, you know, no one's the wiser, but if you actually were to open the cabinetry, you'll notice that they're much shorter than the other side. You don't even notice that it's there, but it works in terms of the function, the aesthetic, and the overall layout of the space. One of the things that we wanted to introduce in the space was glass and bring in texture. So we did that through the rib glass that we have on our pantry doors, the arches that we introduced into the cabinets. We introduced wallpaper that just gave a little more tactile feel. We introduced really muddy and earth tones in the space on the cabinetry, on the island, on the walls. We also introduced paneling in the dining room to create separation between the dining room and the kitchen and just elevate that experience. We entertain a lot and so we were able to fit in by opening up the wall this massive table. It's actually for exterior use that we use inside so it can take a nice beating. We have original wood windows in the home but I think it just adds to the Georgian heritage and farmhouse feel. We were lucky enough to have two seating areas in this space. Not many people have two areas in one kitchen, but we wanted to take advantage of the breakfast nook. So we ended up building a custom marble table in the back area there and just have seating for a few people. So it's really a place to perch, have your morning coffee, and really just enjoy the backyard and the scenes in our area, which is you know a beautiful area with mature trees and large backyards and lots of land. So this is definitely a place that I entertain, I cook and spend time with my family, I branch out and do art projects and cricket projects at, and it really ticked all the boxes. So now I have a space that I can utilize to the fullest extent and I'm really getting what I wanted out of it.